Hello, here is me editing this video. I just wanted to pop in and say that what you're gonna see here is a bunch of my friends taking over the vlog and showing you guys what a day is like in their life during online school and classes during COVID. Some of my friends have in-person classes, some of my friends don't. This is also gonna be a couple different parts because I had friends in each of the schools at Binghamton record their video. So this is just part one, and you're gonna see Sophia, who is in SOM, and you're gonna see my friend Jenna, who is in the Harper College. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned for the rest of my friends and their days. Hi, my name is Sophia. I'm a sophomore studying business administration with a minor in Judaic studies and I'm going to be walking you through my day today. I just finished taking a calculus exam, but before that I woke up and I like to meditate every morning. I think it's important to take a little bit of time for yourself every morning and just stay focused, stay grounded. I use the app Headspace. It's incredible. Would totally recommend. Okay, so I just finished an exam for Math 220, which is business calculus, and now I'm getting a treat because I didn't eat breakfast. So we're going to go to Bump, the Binghamton University Marketplace, and I'm going to get Maiden Bowl um, because spicy mayo is the, my favorite thing on earth. I'm with Danielle. I forced Hi. her to come with me instead of doing her HDF homework because I'm a terrible influence. Exactly. Um, so every day we work on top of C4, but we also make sure to do like little excursions, and today is a gorgeous thing. Binghamton fall day. It just rained for the past, I don't know, like 48 hours. Anyway, I'll tell you about my exam. So my exam was on unit two of business calculus. So it was on curve sketching. That was cute. Um, every business student has to take statistics and calculus. So I'm taking math 220 which is the business specific calculus, but you can also take math 224 slash 225, which is calculus one. My exam was really annoying because we had to like be on Zoom during it and like have our cameras on and then like have the camera pointed at our work while simultaneously looking at the exam on the laptop, which was like whatever. But I think I did well. I am a mathematician, so you know, that's good. <laughs> and anyway, now we're just getting main ball as I already said, and then I will, have Hebrew. I am in Hebrew 203, which is Hebrew 3, which means I have the Hebrew comprehension level of about a first grader. I have a little bit of time before my second class of the day, and I figured I'd take this time to talk about some of the SOM curriculum. As a student in the School of Management, before you can take your concentration courses, you have to take S core and J core. So they stand for like sophomore core and junior core, but you don't, it doesn't matter like what year you take them. I am an S core, which is CQS 311, which is a coding class. MIS 311, which is about management information systems. So it tells you about like how we can use computers and data analytics to be more efficient. Accounting 211, which is financial accounting. And I'm also in calculus, which I talked about earlier, and Hebrew, which is my favorite class, and I love Orly. And if you have the chance to talk to Orly, you should definitely do it. And then for J Core, financial management, which is finance 311, organizational behavior, which is management 311, introduction to marketing, marketing 311, and operations management, which is OPM 311. You also at one point have to take managerial accounting, which is accounting 212. Party. In the process of switching my major, so currently I'm in the School of Management and I'm studying business administration, but next semester I'm going to be starting the philosophy, politics, and law major in the Harper School. So I figured now that I have this time, I would talk to you about switching majors process and the intra-university transfer process. I was finding that I wasn't getting a lot of fulfillment from my business courses and I wanted to focus more on community impact and policy. That's not to say that I don't like the SOM program. The SOM program is great for people that are invested in a future in business. It's very streamlined and I find that you get a lot of attention because the school is smaller. I've been meeting with the School of Management advising, the Fleischmann Center, PPL advising, and I also met with Randy Friedman, who's the head of the Judaic Studies Department, to talk about switching my major, what courses I'd have to take, graduating on time, uh, stuff like that. Um, to transfer 
In between schools, it's very easy. You have to fill out an intra-university transfer form, which is on the Binghamton University website. Since I'm switching from SOM to Harper, there's not like an extremely intensive process. I filled out a form and I had to write, you know, why I wanted to switch my major, why I wanted to switch my school. And I had to put in my GPA, but they already have my transcript because I am a student here. So that, that was good. Three o'clock and I just finished my class and now I'm with Noah and Noah. Look, Woo! Yeah. Hi. Hi. Friendship. And we're hanging out and Noah illegally works for the KK now. So she's making a form. Answer. Answer what you, what you think right the now? KK should serve and not serve. Hi, okay, it's nighttime, and I had dinner, and now I'm doing coding, and Danielle and Emmy are here, and Izzy's here. Izzy's here. I think it's about 8 p.m. I just got off a call with my synagogue. They wanted to check in with the college students, so they sent out a Zoom link, and we all um, hung out and we talked about this week's Torah portion or just Parshat Noah and that was fun it was nice to you know see people from my high school and I don't know it was weird I mean it's if I may be honest it was weird to like see people from my high school in their respective colleges and kind of like see how everyone else is dealing with COVID and then kind of realizing like yeah I'm basically festering in a pool of my own emotional shit but Everyone else is too, and that's fine. And like, you know what? We're making the best. And I've just been sitting on TikTok for the past like 10 minutes, you know, digesting. Digesting that information, dealing with that. I saw that this girl got like a pride care package from Oreo, which is was cute because it's October now and usually they only do like gay things in June. So this is all to say, Oreo, if you're seeing this, I'm gay and I love Oreos. So if you want to send me something, I'm just saying, manifesting it, putting it in the world. Also, it's like 8.30 now, and it's occurred to me that, like, you can only see from my shoulders up in the video, but this outfit's really cute, and I just want you to, like, see it in all of its glory, okay? okay. Also, the way that the gold of this honey really just matches the gold from my letters, like, can you honestly believe? And then the baby from the shirt, and ooh. So it's... 8 30 and i just got back and fun surprise danielle is facetiming sarah my day hello sarah how was your day pretty good <laughs> oh my god i look disgusting no you look gorgeous <laughs> it's now 10 p.m danielle and i are watching jane the virgin and she's also That's facetiming sure. jamie so isn't that meta Jamie says she hope you all had a great day and that you're enjoying the vlog. Um, Jamie told me that there is a slim chance that this vlog will make it all the way to Oreo. So I'm going to need you all to like, share, comment for the algorithm, subscribe. <laughs> Good morning. It's 8.30 a.m. I'm about to get up and go on a walk. This is my second time being in a vlog for Jamie, which is really exciting. I feel very honored. Um, I am a third year student. I am a philosophy, politics, and law major and a Judaic studies minor. Um, I am also in Sigma. I am programming chair and philanthropy chair, which is really fun. We actually have a program later tonight, which I'll talk about. So Sigma is doing a step competition. So this week, since I don't really go to classes like on campus, I want to make sure that I'm walking enough. So I've been going on like two walks a day. Got back from my walk. I'm about to shower. So I ate breakfast. Um, and now I'm going to sit down and read a chapter or two of a book about single pregnant mothers before Roe v. Wade for my women and gender studies class. I'm about to have my first class of the day. Um, it's modern Israel history. Um, it's pretty interesting. Um, it's kind of a large class. I like, I'll kind of know a lot of what we're learning about anyways. I get distracted during class. I play solitaire and stuff like that. Um, but overall, the professor is really cool. I always have at least one mug of black tea every single day in my cute little friend's mug. Um, as you can see, the sun has started to come in in my room, um, so it's super bright. So yeah, I have my first class, and then after this class, I have a 10-minute break where I usually like 
eat lunch super, super fast because then I have another class right after. So I finished my history class. Now I'm in my philosophy seminar. Um, it's called Citizenship in Ancient Greece and it's exactly what it sounds like. I read a lot of Plato, Aristotle, a bunch of other people and we learn about like laws and justice and punishment and citizenship and war and so many different things. Um, it's like a really small class. We basically do like these presentations like constantly. So I usually hear people present on like different topics and then we have to write reading responses, which are about like three or four pages every week. It's a hard class, but like, honestly, it's pretty interesting. Okay, so I'm still in class, but I got a email that I had a package and I didn't order anything. So I got really excited. So I went to go see what it was and it's from my mom because I can tell that it's her handwriting no idea what she sent me i'm very excited okay so it literally looks like a box of random things so it looked like everyone signed this napkin i got some envelopes because i need to send uh, back some checks i got a mask which is clearly too big for my face i got <laughs> a picture of my sister as a baby um a stick <laughs> everything but the bagel seasoning some cotton balls um a bag of tea plantain chips um a potato <laughs> Here's one of my roommates, Hannah. Hello. She has no idea how to do her homework. <laughs> Try and use Che. Okay, so now it's 3.15 and I'm done with class for the day. Um, I'm gonna, I have a lot of homework to catch up on. This week has been crazy, like post midterms, I don't know why. So I'm gonna do that now. Usually when I, um, when I do homework to help me study, I always play like albums. Like I don't usually listen to playlists. I like to like listen to like full albums. Um, Cause like, you know, like sometimes I tell a story or like whatnot. So I always like to do that. So right now um, I'm probably gonna put on Heartbreak Weather and then I'm gonna work on one of my papers that's due next week. This is the view from my apartment. Um, the down part is ugly, but we always get really cool views of sunsets. And now me and my other roommate are laying in bed. <laughs> this is Sophie. <laughs> okay, so I forgot to vlog, um, but I ate dinner. Um, now I'm doing a little bit of homework and instead of watching the debate because I fucking hate our country, um, I can put that in the vlog. Me and my roommates are watching Big Brother. It's an eviction episode and we watch every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. And I hope that Christmas goes home because I hate that bitch. Um, she here's Sophie. No so um, yeah, so it's on from eight to nine. It's Big Brother All-Stars. I'm a super fan. I've watched every season except one, three, four, five, and nine. I don't think I watched nine. We're watching the debate and this is terrible. Are you vlogging? It's China's fault. It's China's fault. <laughs> now I'm making popcorn because soon Sigma's having a movie night. So the movie's over. We watched The Babysitter on Netflix. It was actually really funny, really good. Highly recommend. Um, and I hope you enjoyed my day. During COVID, it was super boring, I understand. I hope you're surviving COVID well.